and said, by the power of Grayskull. Hello, this is just a quick review for Hood Outlaws and Thieves or something it's called, I can't remember exactly. It's the it's like the Robin Hood game you got free this month on the PS Plus. Um, Apologise for my microphone making that buzzing noise if you can hear it, because um, I think it's fucked. But, um, like I said, it's free to download this. Um, I, I was When it first was announced, I was really, really excited for this, because I thought, get in first Robin Hood game, serious kind of game, um, you know, th this game should have been so much better than it actually is, but it's just, I think they've spoiled the game by making it a certain game type, where it's multiplayer, you've got to work together in a joint effort to complete the level, I think it would have been better, because they've based it solely on uh, multiplayer, and because it's a shit idea, I mean, it, it came out brand new eight months ago, and it's already free on the PlayStation Store, so that tells you everything after eight months. Because they've went, they've had a great idea, but then they've went down the wrong way with it. They've thought, oh, Robin Hood, great, that's a really good idea. Uh, you do heists and stuff like that. You've got to pickpocket the sheriff, you've got to get the chest, you've got to take it back, blah, blah, blah. That sounds really good if you were playing like a one person story campaign, like a Red Dead Redemption type of game where you're Robin Hood, you get to customise him, because he looks fuck all like Robin Hood, he's got feathers on, he's got his face covered up, I mean that could literally be anybody, it's got nothing to do with Robin Hood whatsoever, um, and the other three characters that you can be aren't really a part of Robin Hood's Merry Men, you know, like, they've just missed a trick on this, I think, it could have been so, so much better, because um, basically, you, it's like For Honor, or even Chivalry, where you just, you can customise each class, there's four different classes, one's an assassin, one's like a range, one's a healer, and the other guy's like the muscle, so you've got to use them for different, oh, they're John, sorry, you've got Little John in there, but you've got to, you know, you've got to customise each of these. Um, this is like the beginning hub where when you're waiting for a matchmaking to happen, you can just run around here, uh, do your practising, um, whatever, and, you know, fill up and change your costume and stuff. But this is the main gist of the game. You've got to pick the key off the guy, loot the key, then you've got to find the chest, and then you've got to extract it. But um, when you, this is just the demo, like uh, the tutorial, so it's it's quite easy because you're just playing every single uh, character yourself, um, and you do it in sections. Like I do a little bit as Robin, and then you change character into something else. It's just like a little tutorial telling you how to how each character, what role they have within the game, and it gets you used to the special abilities and everything like that. So it's just basically telling you the the basics. But if this, like again, they've just made it all about stealth. I mean, how many times can you play a level before you'll get bored of this concept? Once you've done this heist two or three times, then that's it. You've finished with the game. They don't bring anything else to the party, apart from, oh, you can change the way you look. You can make it easier to, you know, like pickpocket people. You can make it easier to sneak about and stuff like that. It's, they haven't really thought about getting the longevity out of the game. I mean, the idea of it's good, but they didn't execute it right. Like I said, it should have been like a Red Dead Redemption where you've got like a gang of thieves or your merry men that you help, you've got a rescue or whatever, and that's how they join the merry men. And every time you do a quest, somebody else could join who brings attributes with them, uh, like a strong person or, you know, like a mage or something like that. Um, and then you should have it like historical where you're trying to take over you know like a king some sort of Edward Longshanks or something like you're taking over a king's castle and then you have to flick on the fly between the different characters in order to gain access and rob the riches and you know liberate the the money and give it back to the poor maybe you had to have 
you know, like um, each section, like Nottingham and you have like London and stuff like that, have it all historical, uh, historically accurate. Um, that would be a much better game than this. This is just basically, it's like that Ghost of Tsushima online bit, but that's the whole game. It's like they haven't really done anything that's worth um, playing more than once or twice, really. It's it's daft, I think. It's um, they've wasted wasted so much opportunity to have a really good game here. But this is basically the the general gist of the game, where you're taken through each time, uh, each character, sorry, so you can get used to everything. Um, but when you play the proper game, it's like a free for all, and everybody is just playing at the same time so there's you and another three real world players and then they are like just you, you've got to have communication unless you're all in the same party and you're all talking to each other like saying right you go to the left I'll take the guard on the right you can't organize so people are just setting off the alarm all the time because they're shooting at the first guard that they say which spoils it for you because now you're on full alert and you can't use your special abilities and it's just you need to have it so it's um it's a one player game basically and you could have like I said red dead redemption where you've got like a, a camp that you can go back to and you can invest the money in which makes it better the more towns you liberate you know you get better um you could have like a morality system where if you do good things you get better notoriety if you don't you know, people want you, and the the like the poor people of the town don't want to help you and stuff like that. And it could have been such an amazing game. Um, you know, this is just it's crap, basically. I mean, uh, the game's not too bad, but the longevity of it is bullshit. Like, I literally played this tutorial, and then I had one match, and I got killed on the match, and I just turned it off. I just don't have the interest in. The, playing for hours the same level over and over again um, it's like continuously doing a heist on Grand Theft and that is the game, you just load it up, you get your crew and then you go and do the heist, I mean they haven't really thought about how to make the game enjoyable to play uh, for long periods of time, like I said if it was a one person story mode where you could um, get invested in the character and spend hours and hours on it, like a Witcher kind of game then yes, that would be a winning recipe because Robin Hood is a good theme to have for the game. It's medieval England, you know. You've got all the architecture of the um, you've got all the architecture of the churches and stuff. It could be heavily like religious, like um, Assassin's Creed is, where you have to take out the religious zealots, and if you become too popular, then you've got people looking for you and stuff like that. Like they could have just made it so much better, but. This is the reason why it's been given away for free after only eight months of being a brand new game is because the the fucked up and then the the customer is the one that decides whether the game's gonna be successful or not. So, you know, it's the proof's in the pudding as they say, um, you know, it's free after eight months. It just goes to show that everybody collectively have just said, Nah, we're not gonna play this. It's shit. And if you think the amount of time that the developers have put into making the game, and you know, it's such a waste of time and money. It's a shame as well because when's the next decent Robin Hood game going to come out after this was a flop? And it could be forever. You know, you could be waiting. There'll be a PS5 title or something. But even then, they haven't capitalized on what it could have been. It's just annoying because it's such a good idea have a Robin Hood medieval game like this where you're Robin Hood you're sneaking about you know you're liberating each town you've got to steal a certain amount of gold or whatever it could just be a lot lot better that's all I can keep saying because it, it's like pistons off a bit but <clears throat> back to this game I mean I suppose if you've got four friends who play online with you all the time and you can all be in the party together then yeah I can see how it would be fun and you can all take a different role um, and you can all like uh, work together to earn the money and you know complete the heist but again how many times can you do that in a row without getting bored once you're on your second or third heist 
I suppose if it, if the map keeps changing and uh, you know it gets different every time, then that might keep it fresh for a while. But I can't imagine putting this on day after day and just playing for hours and hours because you know there's it, just there's not enough variety and like I said, the type of game it is lets it down. It, it restricts the kind of fun you can have because you're basically stuck to just doing heists. That's all you can do, and every heist is the same. You gotta pick the key. You gotta like um, pickpocket the key from the main guy. Then you've gotta find the vault. Then you've gotta find the chest, and then you've gotta load it onto your boat. And as you want, you you're doing the winch, and the winch really slowly. You can press R2 to winch fast, but it doesn't really make a difference. And then guards come because the alarm goes off so you've got a few waves of guards and as the heavier character Little John you can use your big mallet to fight them and Robin's like firing his arrows and the other guy's there to heal and then you've got this wifey here you can see on the screen she's like the, um, the assassin so you can take people out quickly and silently um, I think they're, they're on the very cusp of it being a really good game uh, um, and I think they've just missed a trick and they've let themselves down. The AI is not very good as well on this. Um, you can basically, you know, run circles around them. You know, like you can, as long as you stay out of the direct sight, you can be right next to them and they'll not see you. Um, you know, you could like trick them quite easily. I don't know. I just, I think, like I said, I think they've missed a trick on this game. It could have been a so so much better. I mean, I've just done nothing but shit on it since I've done the review, but this actual game, the Robin Hood uh, Outlaws and Thieves, whatever, it's it's okay for what it is, but there's a million games out there like this already, you know, where you've got to work together and this is the only kind of thing you can do, um, and it soon, get, it soon gets very boring. Um, it's just a shame that they've missed such a, an, a trick on like such an amazing game. But, like I said, if you like the game, uh, if it doesn't bother you that it's just repetitive, um, and you like Robin Hood and stuff, then go and download it because it's free this month and it's a AAA title, so you may as well put it on your library. You can always revisit it later. Um, and it's always, it, like I said, if you've got four friends to play online, then it's, it's good. But if you're just single like me, then it's, it's shit. So that's it, really. Um, so, yeah. You are a smelly pirate hooker.